pretty much official. I am actually leaving Japan. It's been two years and I'm finally moving out. Can you believe it? My goodness. I remember when I first moved into this place, trying to make it into a home. It was a bit difficult because uh, I had no family here. You know, I left friends. Um, I had no friends here at the time when I first moved in. I had difficulty connecting with a few people. Um, I was already checked out and, or prepared to check out in regards to being in the military because I was not happy uh, being in and having a place to myself, it does get lonely, but being alone and having a place for me to decompress and to be with my own thoughts and being able to just talk to myself and learn to be a friend with myself definitely helped. And I really appreciate it. And I'm actually glad that this is ending now and I'm ready to start a new chapter in my life. So this is the third bedroom. I had bought a mattress. I had a mattress here for a good year. I bought my parents tickets to fly out here June of last year. Uh, they couldn't make it for obvious reasons because of what happened all throughout that year. And so that got canceled and I ended up just getting rid of it. Turned into the second bedroom, um, which I had as my entertainment room, had blackout curtains, had like floor chairs that they have here in Japan. Um, a Japanese mattress, a bunch of pillows. I had a projector here going onto the wall. Uh, admittedly, embarrassingly, I had turned this into a small studio. <laughs> like I, I had my mic here. I recorded a podcast, did a little bit of music, um, just had all that. I didn't get much fulfillment from it, so I just stopped. It was just something fun to do. We go down here. One thing I'm gonna miss for sure is this. It's um, motion censored, it's already up, so it's not gonna move. Heated seat and a bidet. Have one downstairs as well. Feels great, especially when you're cold. Not, nice having your buns warmed up. Here we have the main bedroom. Um, had the biggest closets. It, it was it's great space. All I had was a queen here. Nice view of the neighborhood. I suppose, yeah, neighborhood, I guess. Looks like a favela, so kind of. Um, queen beds in Japan or Japanese queens are bigger than American queens, surprisingly. Um, I say surprisingly because, you know, you would think they'd be smaller because a lot of things here are much smaller. So we go down to the, down the steps and it heads towards the main area in the kitchen. You know, it goes right into here, which I have no furniture. I had no table. I had a speaker in that corner, had two high chairs, um, had a turntable and vinyl over there in the corner by the speaker, which I took, a, which I took out and packed away um, pretty much six months after having it. Here we have the entrance, which of course you pass the steps and you go down the hall. You have the shower room. This is a legit shower room. There is like the whole room is for showering. I didn't even have a curtain. I would occasionally put this laid out on the tub because uh, I just sit down sometimes. I, you lay it on top of the tub. I think I could be wrong. They did that when they had like, they had water ready, and, you know, they cover it up, you shower and then you get in the tub. I do not know, but I didn't use the tub much if at all, actually. I only had someone else used it once. But yeah, I just showered here, you know, had a nice mirror. Actually this, I may want a mirror in my next shower because it was so convenient when I shaved in the shower. Um, just looking in the mirror, looking at my hair, you know, dancing. It was, it was fun, it was fun. I had my concerts, my, you know, personal concerts here in the shower. When I turn around, we have the laundry room. This is a washer dryer combo. It's really nice. Um, I wasn't too pleased with it. It didn't dry very well, but it was, you know, good enough to wash. So I air dry most of my stuff anyway. This sink is for, you know, every morning I wash my face, shaved, brush my teeth. I had my lotion, my cream, my deodorants all here, my coconut oil, all that was here. Most of the stuff was getting done here. I had soap here because 
the bathroom is right here. And so instead of using the sink that was behind the toilet, I just came over here and washed my hands. Lastly, we have the tatami room, which these floors are matted, but they're not as soft as you would think. I, after I got rid of my furniture, uh, my bed particularly, I would sleep here and it was not good for my hips or my shoulder. Um, this was a game room also. I had like only three game nights here, had games in there. Uh, pillows, towels, extra towels. I had bean bags laid out. I would take naps here. I recorded one video in this corner. It's a, the, I recorded a skit from a previous video. You can kind of, you can obviously figure out which one that is. Um, and this room was really nice. It goes out. You can, let's see, let's open this up. See my car, which I'm selling in a couple weeks. Being in this house with nothing here intensifies that realization or acknowledgement that this is really happening. I'm leaving Japan, specifically the island of Okinawa. Seeing the rooms, going through the rooms and this, this whole environment and just being around this area brings up so many memories, not just in the house, but my time living in Japan, right? The traveling, the people that I've met, how I was at work, uh, had, the, had a beach right down the street right, that I love going to, the lost connections and, you know, the relationships that I've had and being able to grow and develop into the person that I am now. There are so many memories and so many great experiences here. It, it's pretty much bittersweet. As much as I may miss this place for a moment, it feels good moving on. I do not think everything should last forever or longer than it needs to anyway. Sometimes a lot of us have the habit of holding on to something for too long that it ends up losing its magic uh, or the feeling that it gives us to where we end up getting tired of it and we try to forget it instead of um, holding on to memories we have uh, in that moment. Not just in places, but I think the best uh, I think a lot of people can relate to in, in regards to relationships or friendships, right? Uh, just holding on to something longer than it needs to and just, instead of allowing it to end at the appropriate time and moving on uh, and having those memories. Having done what I was able to with the allotted time is going to give me the memories I need and I think it's a good time, an appropriate time for me to move on and start that new life, start that new chapter in my life. I'm moving to a place I've never been to. I've never even visited. I have no family or friends there. Uh, there's one person that lives nearby, but they're about four hours away. I'm starting a new career, a new life. I'll be moving into a new place. I'll be getting a new vehicle. It's all gonna be brand new. And it's, it's a bit exhilarating not knowing what's gonna happen or where I'll be by the end of the year. And I kind of like that uncertainty because I think a part of it is me, I'm afraid to be, become content and complacent because I want to do as much as I can, as much as I'm able to, especially at this time in my life. I am prepared to start a new chapter in my life and I am really excited to see what the universe has in store for me. I'm gonna have to see what else I may have left. Actually, I moved out about a week ago uh, into a friend's place. I'm just coming back uh, because I have a house inspection to do. And uh, all I did was vacuum, honestly. They were gonna charge me for the cleaning fee. Anyway, that was what it says in the contract. I'm fine with that. I think I took, a, I took pretty good care of the house. I mean, from what you've seen, it wasn't too bad, right? Uh, and um, so I'm all right with the fee. There was one room where the AC did not work or the heater. And I called once, they told me to unplug it and try it again. I called back if there was a problem. I unplugged it, left it unplugged for like five minutes, plugged it back in and it worked for like two minutes and it just went off. But I didn't care. I, I didn't care enough to mess with it.
Oh man, I just finished the inspection with the agency that got me the place. I remember being shown different places from different agencies. The first place was, uh, it was a new building and the apartment was like on the 30th floor. It had a nice view of the beach of American Village, which is like this tourist attraction here in the island. And, but the two bedrooms, it was two bedrooms, but there was no way I was fitting a bed in there that was bigger than a, a twin. No way. There was no way. Absolutely no chance. It was small. Uh, the house, I mean, the building was brand new, right? The elevator was nice. It had like code to get in, had good security, but it was just, it, it wasn't for me. Then I got shown uh, a house uh, about 30 minutes from the house I chose. And it, it was it was a house, which I, I, you know, I preferred that, you know, so I can blast my music. But the bedrooms were pretty small. It kind of followed that uh, idea of if you could turn this space into a bedroom, then you could charge more. Because this place, the third bedroom was, it was small. That one, if you were to fit a twin, there would be no way to walk on either side of that bed. It would, it would go from wall to wall. And... Uh, the other two bedrooms were decent size, but it, that third bedroom was, I, I don't know what I'd do except maybe storage, make it, use it for storage. Um, it was nice. It was by the mall, but it wasn't necessarily something I wanted. Third agency showed me an apartment about a 10 minute walk from where I, the house that I chose. Two bedroom, it might've been three bedroom had a balcony that had a view out to the ocean. Like the ocean was right there. The dock was there. There was a fish market across the street, a scuba school, diving school nearby, like across the street also beside the fish market. It was, it was a great view. The view was amazing. I could see the sunset from my bedroom, right? If I chose that place and, and it had a nice laundry room, a nice shower room, but it had not been cleaned yet. They told me, they said, someone has, has to come in and clean it. And so I was kind of iffy on it. I was like, man, I mean, you could have cleaned it before showing me, but they're trying to fill up places, you know, as much as they can. I understand that. I was like, all right, this might be the place. I was like, this might be it. It had a very big common area. The kitchen was a nice size, bigger than the one that I have or had. And I was like, this might be one. Then I got shown another place. I was like, I'm going to do one more day. Very first house they showed me different agency was this the house that i chose i looked at it like oh this is nice nice house let's see what let's see what the rooms look like walk in immediately saw the open area this is great walk into the shower room this is nice everything was brand new i'm the first person to move into that house uh, the fridge and the sink are has still had the plastic on it that blue plastic on uh appliances and upstairs the three bedrooms good sized rooms and I said this is it I came downstairs and I said I want it they're like are you sure like we have other people that know like yes I'm sure I'm taking this I was like I want this I want this and so they're like all right let's go do the paperwork went straight to the agency's office filled out the paperwork moved in right within a week uh, I uh, before the inspector showed up I spent a good 10 minutes just laying in what was once my bedroom and just lying on the floor and just remembering all the moments I had there and the moments I had in Japan and I'm probably gonna have another wave of those memories right probably when I'm flying out or the week before I leave um, because this was an experience that not many people have this is an opportunity that not many people are privy to and the opportunities presented to me i'm grateful for as i may have said before and it it was it was nice being here and i'm i'm excited right i'm yeah just it's a lot at the moment i am at my friend's place where i moved into that's where i parked out i dipped as soon as they signed i signed the paperwork to that i moved out and they filled it out and they approved my inspection and all that they charged me a cleaning fee which was fine and it was additional because of the house like the square footage was much bigger 
So that was fine. I didn't really worry too much. It didn't bother me. I filled it out. I'm going to get my security deposit back. Well, uh, a, a large chunk of it, at least. And um, I'll be out. I am selling this car um, in about a week from recording this. And then I'll have to move to another person's place because the person I'm living with now doesn't have a car. Um, or he has a car, he's letting someone else borrow it. And I've been giving him rides to work. Uh, but once I sell my car, I'm going to have, I'm going to need a ride to get to my appointment while I'm out processing from the base I'm currently stationed at. Man, it's knocking this stuff out, you know, getting my orders, getting stuff signed off and and now moving, officially being moved out of my house. It just, it's settling more and more that uh, I'm gone. Hello, beautiful people. It is five in the morning and I am officially leaving. Last night or this morning, it was around midnight in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, I spent most of the day resting, went out to eat, tried to do some shopping. Everything was crowded. I forgot how crowded things are. It is congested in Japan, in Okinawa, Japan specifically. But I guess the aura, the energy is different. It's very, people here are a bit aggressive. Like, they give you looks as if if you do or say something wrong, there may be problems. Uh, I drove on the wrong side of, of the road a couple times. Uh, I like that if everything feels more open here than it did in, in uh, Okinawa, Japan. Uh, I do like seeing skyscrapers again. I really like that feeling of being in the city, but I did feel some kind of anxiety driving because everything's hustle and bustle, or at least it feels that way here in America, right? The speed limit is double in some places than it is um, in Japan. And uh, when I went to a store to shop, I saw the line was long and just no one cared. And it just felt, I just got upset because of that. Another thing is that here in America, or at least in Virginia, uh, it felt weird seeing people without masks. Personally, I've gotten to the point, you know, with the vaccine and people, some people doing what they need to to be safe and uh, we're getting closer to herd immunity. Uh, I've um, not really cared so much when I see people without a mask, especially outside. But when I, I got out of the car wearing a mask and not a single person that I saw was wearing a mask and it just felt weird because in Japan, people wear masks everywhere and they'll look at you weird even if you step outside of your house without a mask so it, it definitely felt weird but um i'm getting used to it you know i'm still walking around as soon as i get out my car i'm wearing a mask it's just a habit um especially being in japan for three years so it's been almost a month since i moved here uh, i'm currently working and living in suffolk virginia which is pretty much right next door to norfolk Compared to Norfolk, Chesapeake, and other places nearby, there's not much to do in Suffolk. There's not really anything to do in Suffolk. Uh, I will say the people here are very nice. Suffolk is relatively small. There, it's very... You could... There's noticeable segregation in Suffolk. And it's almost dis, disheartening seeing it. Uh, also... Um, some things are further than others, unnecessarily further than others. And 
But outside of that, um, the people have been nice. Uh, the places I've gone to have been okay. Uh, I bought a cheap car. I paid little to nothing for it, so I'm paying to get it fixed. You get what you paid for. And I haven't been wanting to test its limits at the moment, so I haven't been to places like Newport News, Hampton, or places outside, like further out, like Virginia Beach or all that, because I didn't want to, you know, damage it, but I'm excited to see what's out there. I'm only going to be here for maybe another month. I'll be gone out of Virginia by then. I don't know where I'm going to end up, to be honest, and uh, that's kind of exciting for me, not knowing where I'll end up going. Uh, but it's been nice, especially with the weather getting nice. I don't know if you could tell I'm pretty sick. Stuffy nose, sore throat, and coughing. Had a fever yesterday, muscle aches. It was horrible, so I had to take the day off today, uh, which is helpful because I'm actually editing this video and I'm excited to share, you know, what else is going on in my world. But until then, y'all take care of one another, check up on each other, check up on yourself, and I'm out.